You should have already watched the first video about Utopia. If not, go back and start with that one. This brings us to dystopia. It's another invented word using the prefix dis, which means bad. There are many words that start with dis, and they all have negative connotations. Disturb, disease, dysfunctional, dyslexia, dismantle, disaster, disable, disrespect, disposable. With dystopia, we have dis combined with the Greek word topia, which means place. So a dystopia is a bad place. And that's the opposite of a utopia. In literature, a dystopia is usually a futuristic, imagined universe in which there is oppressive societal control. Often, the people who live in the dystopian society are controlled by propaganda. They might think they're living in a perfect society or utopia. Dystopias in literature may be a criticism about a current trend, societal norm, or political system. Or it could be a warning about a world yet to come, if we're not careful. Some famous novels in the dystopian genre include Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, 1984 by George Orwell, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. There are also contemporary examples such as The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and those geared for young adult readers such as The Giver by Lois Lowry the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, or Divergent by Veronica Roth. And of course, there are many films that fit this genre, including Blade Runner, The Matrix, animated films like WALL-E and Zootopia, and countless others. Often, dystopian novels are set in a post-apocalyptic world, following nuclear war, climate change, or a pandemic. Don't forget that a dystopia has the opposite characteristics of a utopia. A dystopian novel is generally set in an urban environment. You might think this represents progress, but it may also be ugly or polluted. The natural world is banished and distrusted, and nature is suppressed. There is always a controlling and oppressive totalitarian government often led by a seemingly benevolent figurehead who is worshipped by the citizens of the society. Propaganda is used to control the citizens, and with so much propaganda, it becomes very difficult to figure out what is true and what is fake news. Education is controlled by the government, and people are not encouraged to think for themselves. Art and other personal expression, like music and dance, are suppressed in favor of a utilitarian society. Information, independent thought, and freedom are restricted. Fear controls people's actions. Fear of the government. Fear of reprisal or being reported if they step outside the norm. People are dehumanized. They might be forced to dress the same be referred to by number instead of having an individual name, and so on. Ultimately, even their thoughts are controlled. Citizens conform to uniform expectations, and individuality and dissent are bad. People are under constant surveillance. They also have a fear of the unknown, the outside world, and people outside of their own realm of experience. This is encouraged by the government. There is often war, disease, poverty, or climate harshness. There is also inequality, which may be between ranks, classes, and castes in society or gender. There is little or no chance of upward mobility. Since dystopian novels and films are usually set in an imagined future, there is also generally a lot of technology.
people might be convinced by propaganda that technology represents improvement and progress, when really, it is just one more element of physical and thought control. What about the dystopian protagonist? They often feel trapped, and they struggle to escape or to overcome injustice. The dystopian protagonist questions the existing social and political systems, and feels that something is terribly wrong with the society in which he or she lives. This helps the reader or audience recognize the negative aspects of the dystopian world through the protagonist's perspective. Unlike a utopia, a dystopia can exist, and there have been, and there are, many throughout the world, even now. <laughs>